Well, alright guys, so welcome back to Gamer Today. Today we're going to be talking about a game you might have heard of. It's called Among Us. Yeah, if you've been on social media, you've probably heard of this game. It's blown up big and all the YouTubers are playing this game. I said, well, I'm not going to play it because it looks boring. And a lot of you guys have probably said the same thing. But guess what, guys? I took some time out to actually see what the game's all about for myself. And guys, it's not that bad. It's actually quite fun. And a big part of the reason I didn't play this game is because it sounded confusing and boring. Honestly, the concept didn't sound interesting at all. It just sounded lame. So I kept asking myself, why is this game so popular? What is so great about Among Us? Because honestly, I didn't get it. And lots of people who watch this channel told me I should be playing Among Us because they want to see my opinions of it. And guys, I have to say, this game has been explained in so many different ways by so many different YouTubers, but everyone explains it way over complicated and they make it so difficult to get into. Like if you're someone who's never played the game, you'd have no idea what you're talking about. It sounds lame. It sounds boring. Guys, this game is no joke a murder mystery game. That's essentially what it is. And that sounds lame. Among Us is really a game you have to experience for yourself. It's not really a game that can be explained to you, you just have to play it and learn it. That's kind of the game it is, it's cool for that reason, but at the same time it's a game with bare bones concepts. It's very basic guys, and this game really doesn't have a lot into it. There's only three maps currently and there's a fourth one on the way. Yeah, you heard me right guys, there's three levels in this game, three maps, that's insanely low for any game, right? That's crazy, that's basically like a beta or a beta. That's insane. How could a game be so popular with only three levels, and most of those levels weren't there when the game got popular. That's insane! I've never heard of a game like that, have you? Now guys, on this channel, I like to keep my videos short and sweet and to the point, but at the same time, this game requires a little extra time, a little extra energy, a little extra effort to get you to understand why this game is worth your time. So let's answer the big question, why did this game get so popular, so big, so fast? Well, guys, you don't talk in the game, there's no voice talking, there's no voice chat, so you have to do everything in text, right? That's great for YouTubers who are going to promote these type of games. That's what happened, guys, it's free to play play, it's an indie title, and then of course you've got no voice chat, so guess what, YouTubers can do all the commentary they want to do. Hello? Hello? Oh! You might be the killer! Oh, I see a body! There's a body! I'm gonna stab you! Oh! Oh my god! Don't, don't, don't vote me in need of you! I have to support the body! and they have a lot more freedom and creative control than they would if there was voice chat, you know what I mean? They can talk to people and basically promote the game. They can have actors. The whole point is they're kind of actors on the scene, and that's what you are when you play this game. Even the average person playing you, your friends, you're acting a role. It's like a big game of poker. You don't want anyone to know who's the bad guy. That's the idea, but everyone keeps saying the word imposter because in the game, you have to point out who the imposters are, and you'll find out through playing the game. Sometimes it's very obvious. If the person's not good at playing, you know, the bad guy or the imposter, it'll be very obvious and you just know right away. But other times, if someone's really good at lying, which is not a good thing, we're teaching people to lie, that's a bad idea, guys. People lie too much as it is. But in this game, lying is kind of your best friend. Yeah, you have to lie to win this game, essentially. Now, if you're a good guy, being honest about things and telling people as much about what you're doing in the game is important. And so basically, guys, in these meetings, in these conferences, basically all the players in the game talk to each other, including the bad guys. They're all in the same group, but nobody knows who the bad guy is besides the bad guys. So when they get in these conferences, basically the idea is to convince each other who the bad party is, and they basically talk and say, okay, something's fishy, something's not fishy, hey, this person killed him, I saw this person do that, I saw this person over there, why were you over there? Things like that. What are you doing? Why weren't you helping? Uh, you know, things like that, things that make you look fishy. And sometimes good, innocent people will get thrown out of a spaceship, you heard me. That's crazy, they go and get killed just because they were innocent, but people thought they were not. And this kind of goes down to the social conscience kind of thing. People associate colors with evil and good, and certain things that like hats and different things in this game you could wear, people will think, oh well, he's wearing an evil looking hat with a machete, etc. Maybe he is the bad guy. Maybe there's something fishy about him. And also, just the way the characters move in the game. If they see you moving fishy or different than other players, people will think, why are you moving like that? Or why don't you go to the areas that you should be going to? Like, if you don't know how to play the game and you get into the game, you might actually confuse other players to think you're the bad guy when you're not because they think, well, why are you doing this when you should be doing that? They don't know what you need to be doing, but they have this idea that why are you over here when you're over there and this and this and this and that? It's confusing to them. They're like, why is all this going on? So they might think that you're a bad guy, or if you follow another player too closely. That's another problem. If you follow another player because you're trying to learn the game and they're like, yeah, where do I go? I'm just going to follow this guy and see what he does and maybe I'll have to do what he's doing. Don't do that in this game. That's a bad idea. That's immediately like a red flag to someone to think that you're an imposter. So don't do that. Or bad guy, that's the idea. So guys, this game 
is insane. Let's just put it that way. It is a crazy, crazy game. Now, why I mention all this and say, well, YouTube is right. They're the ones who promoted the game, which is very true, and they're still promoting it to this day. If you go to YouTube trending and gaming, basically, this is the top game, okay? This is way above, you know, Fortnite. You might see one or two Fortnite videos per day, but you'll see a lot of Among Us videos, and some of them are quite funny, some of them are not. But the point is, it's acting, guys. The whole thing is these YouTubers are just acting the roles in the game and then acting on top of it. I'm looking the other way. You're like that. Wait, who who's the other killer base? Trade is it Jesse? Oh, gosh, we don't know because we're not looking that way. Oh yeah, we're not looking. We're not looking. No. <laughs> oh no, no, I can't see it. Oh no. Oh, oh well. And kind of promoting it that way. They're being personalities. Everyone's got a personality and they're showcasing it through this game. This game allows them to showcase that personality even better than Fortnite and a lot of other games because those games require too much attention in, in game. So if you're live streaming like Fortnite and stuff, you're not able to talk to the audience as much as like a game like this. This is more relaxing, but at the same time intense. This game depends completely on the players you play with though. If you play with people that are not very fun to play with or just annoying, where they constantly press the panic button or they constantly blame other players and they just kind of like headhunt the entire game, it's not a fun game at all. As I've said guys, you can actually blame innocent people. If you're the imposter, you might actually blame innocent people on purpose so they get booted out of the party. That's kind of the idea. So you're going to be running around as an imposter and actually killing players or sabotaging the ship. When you're an imposter guys, you actually go around sabotaging and messing things up for everybody. They're all trying to do these things like these tasks, these basic tasks. The common task is what they call them. They have to go around doing things around the ship and basically fixing things and getting things started while what you're doing is basically sabotaging them closing doors on them ruining their electronics trying to kill them by turning off basically all the air so everyone dies basically evil things this game is like very evil in that sense but you know what you go around killing people and doing things like that and then blaming others i don't know what you're thinking this is all so complicated still i've made it way too complicated let's break it down even simpler there's two different teams in among us the good guys which are the crew members and then you've got the bad guys, the imposters, two different teams, good versus evil. Now what do the good guys do, the crew members? They're supposed to do chores or digital tasks. All they have to do is basically fix up the ship and get everything running again, so that way they can get out of there. That's the whole point. Now the bad guys, what are they supposed to be doing? They're supposed to be ruining all the stuff that the good guys are doing and making it take longer or killing players off so they can't complete the tasks, so they can't get out of there, so they can't do what they need to do. Now in between all that, you have all this discussion and talking every time someone's killed off by the bad guys or the imposters, there's basically talking, people report the dead body, a good guy will come by and say, oh my god, I see a dead body, press the button and basically there's a discussion. Now everyone's going to say, well, where did you find him? What happened? Did anyone see who killed the good guy? And what were you doing? And basically a discussion becomes, like, who's the bad guy? And everyone's just going to say they're innocent. But obviously somebody did kill that player, so you know someone's lying, and that's the name of this game, guys. It's a big game of fib. Yeah, I know, it's kind of annoying at the same time, fun. You have to experience it to understand it. And guys, there's one other time you'll have a discussion within the game, which is if someone presses the panic button. This panic button's found in the main cafeteria or the mainstay of each level. And basically any player can press this button, and this button will basically start a whole discussion. And it can go into a team vote as well. Basically players get a time period where they talk, and then they can vote on player basically is guilty and if they're guilty or not, whether everyone agrees that, hey, this player may be the bad guy, they will kick them out into space and they will be dead. Whether they're innocent or not, you'll find out. It'll basically tell you, oh, he was the imposter, he was not the imposter. And then you'll one down, either one good guy down or one imposter down, depending how many bad guys there are. And that's the only thing that you'll have to know in this game. That is the entire game right there. That's all you need to know. When you win, when you lose, you don't get any points for it, it's just an experience. You don't get a battle pass, there's nothing to unlock, you have to spend real world money to unlock things in this game. But there is some customizables in the free version of this game which you can just enjoy, and that's enough for most players. But some people who like this game a lot will probably spend real world money to support the game and get, you know, customization. That's just up to them. Anyways guys, that's really all you need to know about this game. So why did it get so big? I'm going to answer this question as best I can. It's basically because of YouTubers. It's because of all of you, everyone who's played this game and told their friend. That's why this game is as big as it is. It's 
It's just like Fortnite in that sense. The only difference is this game has little to nothing in it. This game is bare bones as it gets. The graphics are basic, the visuals are basic, the sound effects are basic, the mini games are basic, the gameplay is basic. What makes this game so fun is the players you play it with. If you play with bad players, this game is not a fun game. So you might want to find a lobby where there's good people that you can keep playing game after game with, because that's where you're going to have the most fun. And guys, this is what I'm trying to tell you. This is a real social experience type game. That's not even really a game when you think about it. It's just like an MMORPG. They're not fun unless you play with other players. You have to play with people online to enjoy those games. You play them by yourself. It's a very broken, boring experience. It's just fetch quest. It's do this, do that. You get the idea. Point A to point B to C to D. It's typical. You know what to expect. But when you play with other players online, the game gets a lot more interesting. You start having experiences and talking to people and having a good old time, making new friends in the game and just, you know, experiencing a whole world together. And it's really fun. So guys, that's what this game is all about. Among Us is not really a very professional title by any means. The developers of this game thought they were going to make a sequel to the game only to cancel it to make a fourth level to the game. They have no idea what they're doing. They didn't expect such a big success from this game. Do you think they did? No. They had no idea this would become a smash hit. But that's how smash hits are made. No one understands it. It's just craziness. A true smash hit like this is basically natural success. It's just something that people picked up. YouTubers really gravitated towards it and so did a lot of other players after seeing the YouTubers play it. And that's how this game got big. Just like Fall Guys, just like Fortnite, just like a lot of other games, even Minecraft. Although some of those games really could have just been popular on their own terms anyways. They're fun games. I guess the best comparison I can make is Five Nights at Freddy's. A lot of people wouldn't have played that game unless they seen YouTubers play it. And that's how it kind of got popular. People wanted to experience that for themselves. This is one of those kind of games. But anyways guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video and if you did, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Tell me in the comment section down below what do you like about Among Us or if you don't like the game, let me know in the comment section down below. Have you played the game though? Make sure to tell me, have you not played it? Have you played it? I'd like to know. And anyways guys, tell me anything in the comment section down below. I'm very curious. Until next time, it's been Gamer Today.